It's happening YouTube. Coming at you on Sunday, um, August. It's been a while. Uh, this summer I've been working quite a bit. Uh, as you guys know, I'm, I'm working over in the Danish Pipe Shop and it's uh, the high season over there. Um, so I've been, I've been quite busy with that and, and with the family. Today I'm smoking a Stanwell Year Pipe uh, from 2009. Small little uh, bent Rhodesian and in it. Some Deep Hollow uh, from McClellan's. Um, hope everybody's been having a good summer. Uh, the weather here in Denmark has been quite mild this year. Uh, I say the average temperature around uh, 75. A couple of, couple of times it's gotten up into the 80s, but average around mid 70s. Um, yeah, I acquired a couple of, couple of pipes since the last time I made a video. Which I'm going to show you guys. I'm trying to think what else has been been new. Yeah, I guess you know you've seen some of my videos uh, from June uh, when the Dagners came into town. Had a great time with Jay and Jason and, and Patrick uh, C Star, uh, the Rolfinen uh, pipe poet. Um, it was definitely a pleasure having them here and showing them around uh, Denmark, having some laughs as well. That's for sure. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me show you a couple of pipes that I acquired. Um, this is a pipe that I picked up. Uh, it's from uh, Nero Pipe. It's a bent um, apple shape with a nice ring around it with a small little short. Um, gold stem, fat shank. It's all smooth all around. It's a beautiful pipe. Smoked, smoked it twice. I have my collection is getting quite large now, so I got I got a lot of pipes. I'm running through the rotation. And I think you know one of the reasons which I've mentioned to you guys before, you know that I that I just don't make as many videos as as I'd like, is when you're working at a you know a, a a tobacco shop, pipe shop, you know, full time now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm talking pipes and tobacco all day, you know, five five days a week. So the last thing I want to do when I get home is make a video about about pipes and tobacco. Uh, first thing on my mind is probably to relax, you know, chill on the couch, um, you know, enjoy enjoy the family a little bit. Next pipe. This is a, a beautiful pipe, and I've wanted one of these pipes in my collection for quite some time. Um, and I just, I splurged and I bought it. This is a Tao pipe. Um, and if any of you guys know who, who Tao is, he uh, makes some of the best pipes, uh, I think, uh, uh, by one of the best pipe makers. Um, I think him and, and Ilstel are two, two of the best pipe makers in the world, uh, along with El Tank. And check it out, it's, it's got beautiful um, straight grain around the whole pipe with a beautiful silver band and a short stubby uh, Cumberland stem. It's just an amazing pipe. Um, they are on the, on the, you know, on the price, the pricier side of, uh, of pipes. No, but if if you have the extra extra cash, uh, I would I would definitely recommend uh, picking one up. Now the next two pipes I picked up, um, they're estate pipes. Um, I met a woman, uh, and her husband had passed away, um, and he had a large collection of Dunhill pipes. He had about 34 pipes, and two of them I saw that were in amazing condition. I. I I brought them over to uh, to Sorn uh, Repierg's uh, workshop, and um, I just buffed them up and, and cleaned them out with some uh, uh, with some rum, 
uh, the inside of the shank and the stems and, and the inside of the bowl and they came out beautiful. One of them is an army mount and the other is a, a full-on spigot uh, uh, pipe. Check it out. This one's the, the army mount. Um, with a silver band around it, uh, beautiful rustication. And, and as Dunhill Man UK says, they just have some of the best blast. And absolutely, they use the best, highest quality um, um, stems you, you, can, you can buy. It's just a beautiful pipe. And it, it really, it looks brand new. You see on there, you know, handmade in, Demo, uh, handmade in England. And the next one, you know, I haven't seen this one around, uh, a pipe like this. And we sell quite a few uh, Dunhills in the shop. It's, this one's a group four. The other one was, this one is a group three. This is a group four. Um, beautiful pipe. You know, they got the silver on the on the stem and on the beginning of the shank. If, you, if it comes in, group four. Beautiful blast. They just make amazing blast. I checked out these pipes come from around uh, in the middle of the 80s. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, feel, I think I scored big and I got them for a, about a hundred bucks each, uh, which I think is, was a great deal. And I mean, the stem just it, no teeth marks at all on the stem, neither on this one either. I mean, it's just beautiful. The guy, the guy that that owned these pipes before really took took good care of his pipes. Um, I got two. I was gifted two um, tampers. This one um, was gifted to me by uh, Soren Refbjerg with the brass bottom. It's an uh, Argentinian deer antler. Beautiful. And this one was gifted to me by uh, Eric Norting. A piece of briar with a brass bottom. You know, I, I'm quite lucky to get um, these beautiful gifts by these amazing pipe makers. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll cherish these. Um, yeah, I was with the kids today. Went to uh, uh, down what they call uh, by the Opera House, across from the Opera House here in Copenhagen. They have these beautiful sand sculptures. Uh, they've had this exhibit from the beginning of May. Uh, it's going to be ending here in uh, in August. And you have um, an area in front of all the sand sculptures where the kids can play and you know build their own sand sculptures. And uh, there's a little cafe where you can get a you know a cup of coffee or uh, you know, get a beer, whatever you want, and relax and watch kids play in the sand, which is what I did today. Well, that's about it. I just wanted to touch base. Um, you know, I haven't been here in a, you know, making a video in a while. Um, you know, I'm, I'm watching and commenting as much as I can. I'm um, actually, I just picked up a, a, an iPad, so it's it's making it a little bit easier for me to to catch some of the videos. Um, you know, in my spare time. Um, I'm still getting subscribers. I want to thank uh, everybody for subscribing to my channel. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, you know, once again, this is a, you know, it's an amazing community that we have here, um, and it's growing larger and larger. Um, you know, I, there's, you know, there's just so many, so many people that that are on uh, on YouTube now in the community, and it's, it's hard to to watch everyone. Um, but I am trying to watch the ones that I can, uh, that I have time to. Um, you know, because of the high season now, you know, I've been working a lot of hours, um, enjoying my job extremely, um, uh, and I work with some great, great guys and girls, girl, um, so I, you know, I'm thankful every day for the job that I have. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, once again, catch you guys on the rebound. Take care. Have a good one. Cheers.